Welcome back to our video series on Power Virtual Agents. In this video, another short one, we'll be walking you through how do you monitor your virtual agent? How do you know how successful your chatbot is? And so we're going to be looking at the monitoring reporting that is built into Power Virtual Agents, which, by the way, uses another Power Platform tool, Power BI, to be able to visualize the feedback that you're getting from your users, be it visualizes how successful your chatbot is, how many times your chatbot is abandoned, how many times it sends your chatbot interaction to a live agent, meaning a live person. All of that is going to be visible with inside of the reporting layer in the monitoring framework that's built in the Power of Virtual Agents. So we're going to hop over to our demonstration and get you a little peek at what that looks like. Now, I don't have a bunch of data in our demo tenant here because this is the small little demo tenant that we've been working on together over the past few videos. But I want to at least point you in the right direction and let you know what kind of things you should be looking for as you're interacting with the analytics part of Power Virtual Agent. So when you have Power Virtual Agents in your chatbot selected, you'll find there's an analytics section on the left-hand side right here. Uh, that Oops, excuse me, let me zoom in on the right screen here. Right here, which allows you to select and view all of the monitoring and reporting capabilities that are built into Power Virtual Agents. So if we select analytics, this is actually going to launch a Power BI report, which we can kind of expand this, make it a little easier to see. And you can also select the date range in which you want to validate the data. So if I wanted to bump this up, maybe look at all of June, I can do that. And this will show me any of the data that's been collected through chatbot interactions. Now, again, I don't have a ton of sessions that have happened with inside of this virtual agent, but we'll be able to see the total number of sessions, what the engagement rate is, what the resolution rate is. And by the way, all of these are kind of inverse of each other. So how many times we have had a resolution, if we've 100% of the time re resolved our issues, then you're going to see a 0% abandon rate because they're kind of inverse of each other here. We can also see our customer satisfaction score. If we were to provide a survey to our customers, what kind of results are we getting from those surveys? You can see right here, I've only collected a total of one session a couple weeks ago. But you can also see what kind of questions are being asked, what topics are being engaged whenever the chatbots are uh, like uh, being utilized. And so you can actually see the resolution rate by topic what the escalation rate is by topic, and what the abandon rate is by topic. So again, resolution means that the chatbot was able to solve the problem. Escalation means it had to be handed off to a live agent. And then abandon rate means that they just abandoned the chatbot altogether. Obviously, you don't want that. If anything, you would prefer, at the, at the very least, that it be handed off to a live agent if the chatbot's not able to resolve the problem. But you can actually see each of these, and you also have links where you can actually click, and it will take you to the topic where you can start to uh, make additional changes to the topic if you found there were some necessary changes that were needed. So you can actually click the link that we looked at there just a moment ago. This will actually even show you uh, some additional analytics on this specific topic. And so this is actually looking at analytics on just this one topic, showing you the satisfaction scores, showing you the resolution rates, all kinds of great information that you can see whenever you're looking at a specific topic. So the topic, you can, you're probably familiar with this screen. We've shown this a couple times. You have the setup part of it, but you also have the analytics part of it, which shows you some detailed reporting about how things are going. There are several other reports that are available to you. Some of them are in preview, and you actually have to turn on a preview feature to see this, like overlap detection. It's a designed to be able to tell you if some of your triggers are being initiated or if some of your topics are initiating multiple topics, meaning maybe you have trigger phrases that are a little bit too ambiguous, and so there's some overlap with your trigger phrases that could pick up multiple topics. That's what this feature does. And you can even look at uh, transcripts as well. So chat transcripts can be brought back. These two features, again, are in preview, and you can turn them on by going to the settings area. You can also look at reports specifically on customer satisfaction. So if you want to know how happy your customers are with the interactions that they have, you'd be able to see the average score of your customer satisfaction surveys that are provided at the end of every one of your chatbot sessions. You can even look at individual sessions. You can see I don't have any at the moment. I'd have to download them. Uh, and then you can even go look at billing. So how much is this costing me to be able to leverage Power Virtual Agents, which is a very helpful report that many people do ask about to know how much am I being charged for the usage with inside of Power Virtual Agents. So there's several reports that are definitely worth taking a peek at. Uh, get used to interacting with them. 
the big thing that you'll find from this is that you're not likely to just visit this once. This is likely going to be a repetitive process where the reporting elements will actually tell you when you have issues with with some of your chatbots. You'll go fix those chatbots and then you'll come back to actually validate that those changes have made for a more successful chatbot. So you will likely spend a lot of time coming back to this reverting back and, and seeing how the changes that you have made to the topics, to the trigger phrases, to the overall chatbot have impacted the customer utilization or even the next satisfaction score of your customers as they interact with the chatbot itself. Well, that's it for this short video. You got a little peek at what the reports look like. Sorry, I didn't have a ton of data in there, but you got the idea of what you should be seeing in these areas as you start to have a more widely used and widely developed chatbot, you'll end up seeing a lot more in these reports over time. Hope you enjoyed today's lesson and we look forward to showing you more in some future videos. Thank you so much.